Hello friends and welcome back to my art channel where the only thing that can motivate me to do anything is Pokemon. Today we're drawing Cynthia because Diamond and Pearl are getting remakes, Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond, and I always say them backwards because Pearl is the one I had, so my brain goes there first, even though Platinum was my favorite. So welcome back. It's been two years since I made an art video. I said I was going to upload every week and that turned out to be a lie, and that's okay. Uh, I'm going to try again to upload weekly or bi-weekly and we'll see whether or not I succeed this time. But the fun news is I'm way better at art now than I was two years ago, so that's pretty exciting. And I hope that we'll learn a lot more together going forward. So this art piece is of Cynthia, the champion of Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and I am extra hyped because she has always been my favorite champion. I actually used to write her in an online role-playing community. Um, it was on Facebook and we were big nerds and it was bad, but I loved it very much and I've made lifelong friends there because I can make a lifelong friend anywhere. Maybe you and I are lifelong friends already and you just don't know it, or you do know it and that's why you're watching this video. Hi friends. Anyway, so most of this video is the color yellow, if I'm going to be honest with you here. Uh, Cynthia has a lot of hair, and I also decided that the throne should be golden and white, so I'm going to be doing yellow for approximately all of this video, and then there will be, like, you know, black, and that's it. Uh, speaking of the artwork, this pose is referenced from a Dorka stock, one of her older sitting references. I believe it had Queen in the title. I do not quite remember off the top of my head. Uh, it is not from her most recent sitting pack, which is Sitting While well Bisexual, which you should also get because the name is great. And also it's a very good reference. You should always use references. References are great. I will link a Dorka Stocks stuff down in the description so that you can go get references and become better at art as a result. Oh, and speaking of the line art, uh, this will be available for download in the description as a high-res JPEG, which you can print out and play along at home. You could also color it in Photoshop, but you have to color on top of the line art because it is not a transparent layer. It is on a white background. I don't really do digital art. Most of the stuff I do is traditional. So when I offer coloring pages, basically that is how I will be sending them. And if you do color it, Tag me at Diane Apocalypse on anywhere you get your social media, pretty much. Um, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and stuff. My link tree's in the description, too. Um, speaking of digital art, the only thing I really use it for at this point is to make merchandise. And on that note, I am running a Kickstarter right now. I designed these cute little elephant moon pins. I'll pop one on the screen right now. Bing! And they are adorable and I love them. And they're based off of a viral post from like a month or two ago. And they are currently in production. So they are already fully funded, but you can get your pre-order until March 24th. After which, if I have leftovers, they'll be for sale on my Etsy store. See how I did that? See how I plugged myself? I did it. I'm a real YouTuber and I know how to mention my other projects that are going on. I totally did that on the first take. This is not like my 30th take. I definitely should have written a script for this. So speaking of things I wanted to talk about, I wanted to mention that I probably won't be recording my actual drawing process as much on this channel, and I'm going to tell you why. So my recording setup, and I think most art YouTubers, is such that my paper is flat on my desk, uh, and that is a very bad position for me in terms of being able to see what I'm doing. I've tried to do it a few times for recordings and my end result always ends up being super duper skewed and it just looks bad. And also I tend to sketch very, very lightly. So I'm not actually confident y'all would be able to see what I'm even doing. So I'm going to mostly focus on coloring on this channel for now. If I get more into digital art, I can certainly film my sketch process for those, though it's definitely sloppy. Uh, I just don't prefer digital art specifically because I have issues with my hands. You may have noticed my pink Muppet hands. Um, I have fibromyalgia, which is a chronic pain disorder, which means that if I do things, it hurts uh, a lot of the time. Not all the time, but I've, I've learned a lot of ways to control it. And one of those ways is not using a tablet pen, because for whatever reason, that really cramps my hand up in a way that using traditional supplies does not. It may be um, just a matter of building up my strength in my hand and getting used to it over time. We will see if that happens or not, but uh, I will probably also just talk about my fibro on this channel from time to time, because 
I live with it every day. It's gotten very bad since the last time I made art videos. So it's something that is a constant in my life and maybe it will be helpful to you if you also struggle with chronic pain as a barrier to you creating artwork. So, you know, hot tip number one, get you some compression gloves. They have a lot of really cute ones now. Um, I did get these on Amazon. I prefer not to go on Amazon when I can help it just because of ethics and such, but Amazon is a very convenient resource, especially right now during the pandemic. So if you need compression gloves and it hurts to draw, get some compression gloves. I also sleep in wrist braces, which you can also get on Amazon or at your local pharmacy, just to keep your thumb and fingers in place while you sleep so that you don't screw up your hands when you're not even conscious to deal with that. So yeah, that's my fibro tangent for today. I'm gonna put on some slow jams for a bit so that you guys don't have to listen to me talk for this entire solid 14 minute video because it would be one thing if I were doing it real time, but it's kind of weird to be doing it in retrospect and you guys are just listening to me babble about nothing. I mean, it's not nothing, but it's not really that interesting. So I'm gonna put on some Kevin McLeod a uh, shout out to the real OG, Kevin McLeod, for giving everyone on YouTube free music to use. And uh, I'll see you guys back probably towards the end here. So enjoy the jams.
wasn't that relaxing? Again, that was Sovereign by Kevin MacLeod. I don't know why I'm talking like I'm a radio DJ on a like 2 a.m. sleepy time radio show, but you know, that's just the energy I'm bringing to the table today and that's fine. I'm trying not to overthink my narration here. I'm trying to just kind of let it flow, conversational-like, because that's what I like to watch on YouTube. Let me know in the comments if you'd rather I just shut up and let the painting happen. Not painting, this is markers. Speaking of painting though, did I mention I'm preferring watercolor these days? I'm definitely gonna make a watercolor video soon, uh, probably about the Stuart Simple watercolor palette. I haven't seen too many people talk about it on YouTube. I think the biggest account was Chloe Rose Art and she is not really a watercolor painter. Um, so I wanted to throw my hat in the ring on my opinions on that palette too. So look out for that either next week or in two years. We'll find out. <laughs> so we're getting towards the end of the video here and there are a couple of plugs that I wanted to talk about because, you know, I'm a YouTuber now. Maybe. We'll find out. But I do have a Patreon. There's a link in the description. Uh, my Patreon has a monthly discount for my Etsy store. Um, it is actually a perpetual discount that you can use anytime for 10% off on any tier. Uh, we have a $5 tier where you get a free sticker every single month. I try to make new designs for that every month, uh, as opposed to sending free stickers that I sell on my Etsy store. So if you want fun, exclusive access to stickers before they're available to the general public, sign up for my sticker club. I also have a print club where I will send you a print every month and those generally do come from my catalog of artworks. Though a lot of times it will be art that I don't really sell because it is original characters or things that I don't think people would really want in terms of buying them online, but things that are still good artworks that I stand behind and things that I really enjoy making. So basically by joining my Patreon, you get access to my more personal work. And I also do sketchbook blogs on there, though I need to update that more recently, more frequently, uh, but I scan high res pages of my sketchbooks for y'all to enjoy with some commentary as well. So yeah, join my Patreon. There's a link in the description and one on the screen right now. Holy moly, I learned video editing. So yeah, thank you guys so much for coming to this video. I hope to make lots more videos in the future and we'll see how long I stick with it. And uh, yeah, here's the final art piece. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that every time I post a ramble, you get notified instantly. Hooray!